Researchers in Australia have unveiled a microchip that may power the country's first bionic eye. Perfecting the whole contraption has taken 10 years, but the chip itself, which is 5 square millimetres, was completed in just one year. It's the brainchild of Professor Greg Swanning and his team at New South Wales University. All the, all the planets align with this particular one, and it's, uh, in chip design it's, it's just unheard of to have it happen and work perfectly first try, and, and uh, they got it right this time. If you think about uh, a, a train and, and the displays that tells you which station you're going to, uh, there are very, very few numbers of, uh, of dots that you see with that. This particular device having 100, uh, we hope will be able to aid in navigation, uh, maybe tell you whether or not there's a person nearby or where the doorway is, where the window is, uh, things that will help you with your everyday life. A small camera embedded in a pair of spectacles captures the image and delivers it to the microchip implanted in the eye. Leighton Boyd is one of around one and a half million people worldwide suffering from retinus pigmentosa and he says such a device could change his life. Mobility around the city, mobility around your home, anywhere you go, you know, it's just an absolute bonus and as I understand it, you know, this, uh, it doesn't matter if it's pixelated, you know, as looking through a, say, a fly screen, it wouldn't matter from seeing nothing to, to doing that, it'd be just sensational and, and being in colour as well, it's not just a black and white image. Restoring perfect vision is still decades away, but it's hoped this device could make a huge difference to those losing their sight to eye disease. The new microchip must now undergo a series of thorough lab trials. If the results are positive, the team hopes to begin testing the bionic eye system on humans in a couple of years' time.